guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another beauty video now obviously the background is different which you guys shouldn't be too surprised about I have talked about it in a uh, get ready with me maybe more than one honestly and I've also posted a vlog of everything that went down in here so if you're someone who doesn't necessarily watch the vlogs or you missed that one check that out it'll be in the description down below but today we are going to be Playing with some new products, not really playing because I kind of know what I'm doing. We'll get to that in a second. But I'm uh, just putting some of this ABH brow gel through my brows because I need them to stay in place all day. And you guys know I love this stuff. So I put that on first just to give it time to kind of like dry down. I'm going to clean up the brows and then we're going to get started. For primer, oh, I took it out already. I'm going to use this one from e.l.f. So this is their Power Grip primer with niacinamide I know a lot of people love like the green one I believe that's the original not really sure but um this is the one I have and I'm just gonna put this all over also FYI I'm refilming this so the newer products that we will be using in today's video are not necessarily gonna be a first impression anymore because I scrapped that video it just it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to at all also this primer I don't recall it being kind of like not hard hard but like it doesn't glide on the skin easily I don't remember that honestly but it still worked really really well when I did this uh, routine the, the first time around so just FYI this is not my first time doing this which means it should go a lot smoother because I know what I'm doing and it wasn't because of the products, it was just more so because of the new setup that I have. I was trying to work with it and I was doing a lot of things in one. I even did my nails in the same day. So it gets tacky like this when it's pretty much ready. And it doesn't take long for it to set, honestly. So now that we have our primer, we can move into our products. We're going to be starting with our base makeup. We're not really doing eyeshadow today. But um, I do want to share with you guys the newer products that we are using. I do need to grab my lashes, but I won't do that just yet. And yes, we will be using lashes and a new mascara. So we're doing both. So for the newer products, first and foremost, I have the new Fenty Blur Tint Stick. So this is just what it looks like. I'll show you guys what shade... I am as well so I am shade number 12 the lady did shade match me I talked about this in my last vlog that I posted so if you want the backstory on it you can go watch that vlog again it'll be linked down below I also have the Lancome mascara this is their oil infused mascara and I have so many thoughts on this which we will get to and then the Givenchy um, loose powder and this is the Prism Libre in number three we'll also get to this as well so those are the newer products on top of the lashes which are the kiss lashes that you put on without any glue technically no mascara but we are going to be using mascara and all that so face is primed let's jump into skin tint or I don't know why I keep calling this a skin tint, but that's basically what it is. It's their eavesdrop skin tint, basically in stick form. So yeah. All right. Watch this, you guys. First of all, glides like butter. And I'm just going to do two and then one like that and maybe down my nose a little bit. Honestly, I don't need a lot of this product. This isn't a full coverage product, so it's not you know gonna give you full coverage but I will say even though it claims to be light coverage it gives enough to where like your skin just like seeps through and it still looks beautiful and even and just uh I love it and I did use my hands when I first did it so I'm gonna use my hands again because they do say best applied using your god-given tools your lovely fingers I'm kind of breaking out over here on the side. But don't worry, we're going to get that under control tonight. I ain't playing no games. You guys see that though? 
see how just like more even my skin tone looks it's so beautiful I absolutely love it and I had it on for a couple of hours uh, the day that I did wear it and I will say that my face didn't get like overly oily if that makes sense I think Roxy's having a bad dream sometimes she makes that noise I, I say she's having bad dreams and I try to wake her up she's a little too far for me to like rub her but Normally I wouldn't just like call out to her or anything because I don't want to startle, startle her. Alright, so this is basically the product rubbed into the skin. As you can see, just very beautiful. It just enhances your natural God-given beauty. So I believe I did use the puff to just like tap on top. Not that I feel like you really need to do this, but I did, I believe. So we're just going to tap anyways. Not that I feel like it's doing much of anything but I'm still gonna do it I don't know but you guys see for yourselves it just it looks so good and then for concealer I am using my NARS and I'm gonna actually use two different NARS because I'm using the radiant creamy concealer which is what I did last time and I used this one first because this is the one I really wanted to use but I did notice it wasn't as brightening as I wanted it to be plus because of the pink powder that we're going to be using I feel like the pink powder is meant to like brighten the skin so I felt like it was only right for me to brighten the under eyes just a little bit with concealer so we're going to be actually using these two together so this is the NARS natural uh creamy radiant sorry concealer and then we have the one in the pot which is the NARS soft matte concealer maroon glace for this one and this one is in the shade praline so we're gonna go in with this one first and I'm just gonna pop this here and I did put mm, a good amount I feel on I didn't go too crazy with it though so now I'm gonna use my puff again and I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending the concealer into the skin as you guys can see it does give somewhat of a brightening effect underneath the eyes but just to add a little extra I am gonna go in with that second concealer but I do like both of these together I also forgot to kind of mention I guess that in my personal opinion I wouldn't use a beauty sponge necessarily to blend in first of all the tint stick but also my concealer because I do love the way that a powder puff does blend things in but sometimes with a sponge especially if you are wetting it too much and not really wringing out that water a sponge is gonna more than likely pick up the product versus putting it down Although, I will say, if you use a dry sponge, maybe that might work better. But I just prefer the hands, honestly. Maybe in another video, another time, another place, we will, you know, use the tint stick with an actual beauty tool. But I think the hands do the face justice. Um, now, I am going to move into the lighter concealer. So, I'm just going to take a little bit not much at all of this and this is not the shade that I need this is actually the shade I used for underneath the brows can I get the lid on? I'm gonna take this one so as you guys can see it's a lot a lot brighter this is my OG brow brush what brush is this? I don't even know oh this is the elf eyeliner brush I used to use this consistently way back when for brows most importantly and concealer love this brush I wonder if they still sell it I don't know but just very little you guys see just very little in the inner corners and I am going to also take some in the center of my face as well just to kind of help give a little bit more of like a brightening effect in the center of my face and blend that in with the sponge so I'm just gonna 
press that in. Not too much, but it's enough to just like add a little light in that area, if that makes sense. Now we're going to move into cream contour. I'm going to use the Huda Tantor in Fair. And the reason why I'm going in with this one is because I feel like it's the most like less pigmented type of cream contour that I have. It's light but natural and buildable of course. So I'm just going to pop this on around the skin. Again with the skin tint being kind of skin like almost, it just helps to give that your skin but better vibe. So I really do like this contour for this and to pair it with a skin tint such as this just because it is so light and natural and I don't want a harsh like contour bronze kind of moment. It's really pretty though. I like, I love the base makeup of this. This right here, the all the products that we've used up to this point, just beautiful together. And I will use these any day of the week. Then I'm going to take my other end of this brush and I'm going to tap it into the product. And I'm going to carve my nose a little bit all these years of doing makeup and I still don't really know what I'm doing other than creating shadow. I do know that. And then I'm also going to take it in the crease of my eye. Naturally, I would go in with like a powdered bronzer or contour shade and do this, but I actually tried it for whatever reason. I just put it on my lid that day. And I really like the way it looked. So, we're going to do it again today. Just very faint, not too much. And you see what I mean about this cream contour? It's just, it's not super pigmented to where like it looks muddy or anything like that. It just gives a natural contour to the face. Now it's time for powder. We are going to use the Givenchy Prism Libre, again, I have number three because I really wanted these pink shades that are in here. I wish the bottom could like show you all of them, clear as day, but you have like two pink, three technically pink shades and maybe like a tannish kind of color. So I am going to be using this to set the T-zone only. And I want to show you guys this because I thought it was just so adorable. But it did come with like this little mini puff that I think is just so cute. I didn't use it last time. I'm not going to use it today. I just think it's cute and I am going to keep it. But we are going to use our actual puff. And I'm just going to dip into that. I'm going to try and grab a little more of the pink than anything. But either way, this product melts into the skin, you guys. Just the way that it blurs is so beautiful. And it just sets everything so nicely. I'll do this side and then I'll just kind of let you guys look at the difference between the two sides. But as I continue to just like press the powder in, you guys see how it's just melting into the skin. This is obviously more of like a blurred matte finish. And then obviously we have like a dewy, glowy finish over here. I almost messed up all my words. I'm the queen of messing up all my words. I don't know if it's because I'm trying to talk fast or what. But I'm just going to set this side too. Really, really beautiful powder. And I do suggest, like, if you are wanting to try this, be like me. Get the travel size. It's going to last you, I'm sure. I am going to apply face powder too. I'm going to use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I really, really love this powder. I want to give the MAC a little bit of a break because I have been using that pretty consistently. So I am going to go in with this powder all over the face. Well, the outskirts of the face, I guess, if you will. I'm just kind of tap it around here. It's not going to add like color or anything per se. Maybe a little bit. It might deposit a little bit of color. But it's also going to blur the skin a little bit and just set everything down, you know? And you just need a little bit of this as well. Really, really pretty powder. So our face is set and it's a little bit more matte now, which is what I wanted. And then for bronzer, I'm going to use 
the MAC bronzer because I feel like I've talked about this bronzer in every makeup video that I've done since I tried it. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to talk about it this time. I'm actually going to use it. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on. Normally I would use this brush for contour or something, but we're just going to use it for a little bronzer today because I'm not going to put too much. And I'm just using a tapping motion just to deposit the product onto the skin but this is really pretty a nice summer shade I know summer's coming to an end sad face but we must move this will also be a nice transition into fall this color especially applied like this just add a little bit of bronze to the nose really cute I'm loving the base makeup. Honestly, I feel like it's looking a lot better than when I first did it. Although, I was obsessed with it then as well, too. So, I don't know. So now that we have all of that, we can work on the eyes. So I am, like I said, going to be using lashes. But first, we're going to go in with the Lancome mascara because I want you guys to see. Now, I won't say this is anything revolutionary in terms of how it applies or what it looks like once you apply it, let's be realistic, there really isn't a mascara I feel on the market that really just does the most for your lashes. It's just all about what your natural lashes look like I feel, but in terms of like application is easy, I love the applicator on here, if you guys can see it. It just really combs through your lashes and you know it's getting every single lash individually just based off of the way it feels when you put it on and it's not messy it doesn't run or like flake up or anything like that because I did have it on for a couple of hours that day and I didn't notice any like flaking or anything like that so also another thing on the bottle or not the bottle the box that it comes in it says something along the lines of it being easy to take off when I tell you I have never experienced anything truer it was so true. I went to go take off my mascara and you know sometimes mascara could be stubborn to take off and you have to like really like work the mascara off. This? No. It came off so easily. It was, listen, you just gotta try it for yourself. And once you do, you'll know what I'm talking about. It was so easy. It was a breeze. So I'm just gonna apply a small amount of this. I do need to be pretty close. I'll apply it to this eye first and then I'll let you guys see the difference between one eye and the other. So that's the top lash on this side. Like I said, I could continue like adding but I'm not because I know I'm going to put um, the false lashes on. So we would definitely use this mascara again for sure. I mean, hello, I do love it so you will see it again on my channel and maybe we'll do like a light makeup look like we have kind of like what we have going on today with just mascara no lashes but I definitely want to use those lashes on camera for you guys today because I was really pressed to use those lashes that day um but yeah this is what the mascara is giving if you guys can see no mascara mascara so I did apply it at the top and bottom lashes I also applied eyeliner just to brighten the eyes a little bit and make them look a little bit more awake of course i used my og liner that i love to use this is in nude from la girl it is a lip liner but i use it for my waterline only i don't use it for my lips at all now i did also find that i did have the box in the trash and i feel like i said oil infused mascara when in fact it is a serum infused volumizing mascara so this is what the box looks like, in case you're curious, and I also wanted to correct myself because I didn't want to give you guys false information. So now that that's done, we can apply the lashes. Now I, again, I have the Kiss Lashes in Glamorous is the style that I chose. And when I first put these on, I thought these were all the same length. As you guys can see, these are the ones that I put on previously. But um, on this clear thing, it tells you 
this top row right here is medium and the bottom row is long so in my mind i was wondering why the one lash over here on this side was so long i thought i just put it too far over and too far up if that makes sense but anyways two different sizes in here so i am going to apply these really quickly it was a little bit of a struggle when I was trying to apply them the first time around, but I felt that was because my mirror is so far away from me. Well, not so, so far, but it's not as close up as ideally as I would like. So I am going to pull this mirror up closer. It might get in the way a little bit. Maybe not. We'll see. But I want to be able to apply these perfectly with precision and not have to struggle, if you will. So it did come with tweezers but these aren't the ones it did come with these tweezers can't say I love these honestly I just rather use one of the two that I already have these ones are from Glamnetic and I don't know where I got these from I think I got these maybe from like TJ Maxx or something but these are the two that I oftentimes uh, love to use I'm either using one of the two to apply my lashes. So we're just going to pop these babies on. Again, you don't need any glue or anything like that. Um, I think I'm going to do long, medium, long, medium. We're going to do about four clusters on each lash. I'm not going to mess with the ones that I had on yesterday just because... Oh, wait. Maybe I might have to, actually. I need to figure out which one was the long one because I only touched one long one yesterday. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So basically all you have to do is lift your lash, place it. I like to go like that. Kind of like blink my eye, I guess. And then clamp. And boom, it's on. It's easy as one, two, three. Okay, then I'm gonna take a long one. Okay. I ended up just doing three on each side. I think I like that better. And again, I did medium, long, and then medium. And then obviously the inner corner is my natural lash. So we have our lashes on and that's done. I think we just have blush left and a little bit of highlight and setting spray. All right, so for blush, I'm gonna be using the Hourglass. This is their ambient lighting blush and dim infusion. I want to get another hourglass blush let me know what shade I should get down below but we're just gonna pop a little bit of this on I am just gonna go ahead and use that same brush we used for bronzer and everything else I'm only using powder blush today I think it looks really pretty you know just with powder it's not necessary for both cream and powder and plus if I was gonna put on cream I would have been put that on just popping it on this part of my face for a little flush of color really cute pretty I am using this one but last time I did use the MAC one which is more of like an all-over matte blush as to where this one is a little bit more of not shimmery or glittery but I guess shimmer you know it just brightens that part of your face a little bit and either blush is fine, whatever blush shade you want to use, but just for full transparency, this isn't the blush that I went in with initially. And then, now that we have that placed, okay, I think that's good. I can stop. Let's go into highlighter. So I'm using my Sephora palette. I'm obsessed with this blush palette for this particular shade here for my highlight. If you work at Sephora and you know what palette this is, could you let me know? Because I don't know. And there is literally, this is the back, okay? So if you guys are really interested in getting this palette, take that information and do what you will with it. I'm just going to put the highlighter in the tip of my nose, right here above my lip. And I'm even going to put a little bit here on the brow bone. Just for like a nice glow right here. Should I do here too? Probably. I'm going to use the item first to initially just like set everything I guess. Ooh, your skin is looking good. And then for a little added glow, 
not going overboard at all. I'm going to use the Tatcha. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I think this is the only setting spray they have, but anyway. That's enough. A little bit of that product, I'm telling you. If you have really, really dry skin, then, you know, go in. But I do not. I am known for being oily, so, especially in this heat. So I just went ahead and finished off with a little bit of this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla. I love the way the look came out, of course. I loved it then. I love it now. I actually feel like it came out a lot better this time around for whatever reason. It's not that the products weren't working for me that day. I just... It was other technical issues, so I had no issue sitting down and refilming that whole makeup look because, again, I feel like it's gorgeous. Let me know, of course, as always, your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you do want me to do another dedicated video for the tint stick, let me know. I can get that done for you guys. It won't be a first impressions, obvi, but I can do more of like a wear test and I can also pair it with the Rare Beauty Concealer and maybe do just like a more lightweight kind of coverage type of makeup look. But let me know what you guys think and your thoughts in the comments down below. Again, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me like you do every single time. Thanks for coming back, showing love, and watching my content. And I hope to see each and every one of you in the next one.